I love little details like that. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So my Fab Fit Fun Box finally came in the mail. Y'all, it's so itty bitty compared to the last one. When I got the box, it came in a bigger box. And so I was like, okay, maybe they just, you know, fixed their security thing. Cause remember last time the box literally just showed up like this. Anybody could have went and gone through my box and just took stuff out. And I would have been none the wiser because there was like no security on it. No tape, no nothing, nothing to let me know that nobody had been in my box. This time around, it came inside of another box. So I'm thinking, hey, maybe they beefed up security, but no, no. They just wanted to put this itty bitty little box in a bigger box and then put my add-ons outside of the box. I don't know, but this is my Fab Fit Fun Box. Very excited and it is for spring, as you guys can see. I absolutely adore these boxes. I think they're so cute and fun. ColourPop can take some, some notes. I did do customizations, however, y'all know I haven't committed yet to paying the annual price. I know it's cheaper. I will eventually be that girl, but right now I'm a month, well not monthly, but like quarterly girl. Okay, I'm a quarterly girl. And so I only get to customize a few things and then I believe they choose two items for me. Last time they chose me straight trash. They chose me some weird little bags that you put your underwear in when you go travel, which I could use a plastic bag for it. I don't need nothing fancy for that. And then they gave me some earmuffs. I'm hoping that because I got my box during the season, you know, not at the tail end of the season, that I actually got some really cool mystery products. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like once we open her up. This is super freaking cute. They got all these little sayings or these companies. Yeah, they got all these companies and not sayings, companies all over this little lid thing. Spring 2024 and then you just open her up and you got all your stuff in the box. I love this like color scheme with the, the green and the orange. That is so spring. Win a Celine vertical kibosh tote. Scratch to reveal if you won. Okay, I will scratch this and see if I won. I probably didn't, but I will scratch this later on and see if I want some, because if I want some, that'd be cool. I mean, this is hideous, but I mean, it could be a gift for somebody that thinks it's not hideous. The first thing that I added on was Pat McGrath Labs Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Y'all, this is my first Pat McGrath. Ooh, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Pat McGrath is expensive and I've wanted her eyeshadow palettes like since I saw them. And then I looked at the price and I was like, uh, mm -hmm. never mind. <laughs> never mind. Until I'm, until I'm, you know, rolling in the dough, so to speak, I'm gonna have to put her palettes on the back burner. But I did get my first Pat McGrath and this is in the color Extreme Black. This packaging is super freaking cute with the blue and the gold and then this, this uh, bird thing, bird eye thing that looks kind of Egyptian. I don't know. I mean, I don't really hear anything about her eyeliners. I'm not like a makeup heavy person as much as it might seem like it. I'm just, I'm not like in the world completely. I got like my toe in. I'm not fully submerged in the makeup community. So I don't know if this is a good eyeliner or not. I'm just going based off the fact that Path McGrath is very expensive and everyone loves her eyeshadows and her eyeshadows be popping. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Them pans be looking magical, like majestic. So I'm hoping that her eyeliner is also formulated. This is what she looks like very, very simple. And now this is what it looks like. Ooh, oh yes. Yes. Stilla, I'm gonna have to say bye bye to my Stilla because look at that. That went on so easily. I put like no pressure. I'm gonna have so much fun winging my eyes out with this baby right here. I I'm looking at it and it's already kind of dried down. I'm gonna wait till it dries down a little bit more and I'm gonna do a little rub test to see if it moves. I don't see any like little branches branching off from the line. So it's not feeding into my little, little lines into my skin. I like that. That's a good eyeliner. I think the add-on was like $12 breath. The next add-on that I got, and this was a more expensive add-on, was this like cushion. <laughs> I'm sorry for just putting booty in your face, but this is just like a butt cushion. And I got it because, you know, me, Justin, and Bella, we all sleep in the bed together for now. I ordered her a crib. So she about to get evicted yet again. She about to get evicted to her crib. Sleeping in the bed with all three of us, it's been hurting the crap out of my hips. I wake up with so much hip and lower back pain, it's ridiculous. So I was hoping 
hoping that if I put this little baby underneath me while I'm laying on my side, that it will help give me the support I need so that I do not wake up with back, lower back hip pain. Also, I'm not pregnant right now, but in the future when we do decide to expand our family again, I also want to use this as like a pregnancy pillow instead of that big old U-shaped thing. I can just kind of sit this underneath my belly and it'll give me the support on my stomach and on my back. So this is like a double two for one product. It wasn't the best deal. I'm not like, oh my God, I saved buco, buco dollars on it. You know, I, I saved maybe like $10. I saved maybe like $10, $10 and I'm happy with that. It would look like the picture is fluffy or is it a pressed mess? Okay, yeah, no, it is definitely not no depressed mess and it is high quality. Get into it. This is very nice. It has a very nice feel to it. Um, If you guys can see like the texture, the texture. I think this is so cool. It has a nice little button so you can secure it. Before I wanna put it like opened up and lay inside of it, I can put this underneath my belly. It'll give me some support. If I open it up like, like this, then I can lay right in the center here. And when I'm pregnant, eventually, whenever that is, it's not now. I can get some support for my belly and some support for my back. In the meantime, between time, I'm getting support for my hips. Now I will have to get back to y'all on whether or not it works, if it, you know, did what it needed to do. If not, it's just gonna be a nice pregnancy pillow for the future. Let me just, let me just see. Ooh, okay. Okay, we sitting on this for the rest of the video. I might have to adjust my camera a little bit. Bring y'all up like this. This is actually kind of nice. Okay, okay. So far we hitting. The first thing that I'm pulling out is by Tula Skincare, and it is the 24-7 Moisture Intense Ultra Hydrating Day and Night Cream. Now, this is what it looks like. I don't currently own anything by Tula, so I'm very excited to give this product a try. It says, the do-it-all moisturizer. I don't know why I said that word so drawn out. Moisturizer. Like moisturizer. The do-it-all moisturizer for our most intense hydration yet. This ultra rich yet non greasy day and night cream is formulated with our nourishing moisture lock pressed oil blend. Okay, it's got the camellia seed, the sea buckthorn berry. I've never heard of that berry. Where are they coming up with all these berries? I swear, every time I read new skincare, it has a new berry or seed or plant that I've never heard of in my entire life. Argan oil, I've heard of argan oil, okay? That's a tried and true ingredient. Provide intense moisture with peptides to help smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Ooh, apply on skin. skin. Apply on clean skin after serums. Ooh, this packaging is nice. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. You got this really blue and then you got the pop of yellow and on the inside it says unleash your glow. I think that's so cute. This container is actually really nice. It has like a kind of an iridescence pink look to it. You can't really see on camera, but it's shimmery. 42 grams of products. And I don't got nothing really on my face, so I am gonna put a little bit of this on my face. This is what the cream looks like. Very very creamy and decadent looking. Let's see what the texture. Ooh, <laughs> that felt like a soft, like a very soft butter. Oh my God. That's nice. <laughs> I will say it is a tad bit greasy. Okay, they lied. It's a tad bit greasy, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's just like a sweet, clean skincare smell. Nothing too crazy. I like this. This was one of my choices and it's a good one. It doesn't go into the skin as beautifully as like my old lady cream, but it's still nice. Next is another item that I chose, and these are the Black Hyaluronic Bright Eyes Plump and Purify. Ooh, five eye masks. And this is what it looks like. Eye masks make me feel, they make me feel luxurious. They make me feel like I'm taking care of myself. And I like how my face feels afterwards. Ooh, these are juicy. Bruh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at how juicy these are. Next, extreme, super extreme nighttime skincare routine. I'm busting these boys out. And this is what the back of the product looks like. And you get five of them in this box. The next item that I also chose for myself is this Os... Os... 
Osha, Osha, Ocean Cleanser. I, I'm, I want to lean towards saying Osha because it says Ocean Cleanser. So I want to say this says Osha. This is a nice little cleanser. I've heard really good things about this brand. It says Mineralizing Marine Cleanser. Wake up your skin and your senses. The seaweed infused gel cleanser removes everything from surface impurities to excess oils. Our pH balance formula gently exfoliates to unclog pores without stripping the skin. It's giving luxury. Okay, it's giving expensive. Ooh, and it is expensive. This is glass. This is a nice frosted, frosted glass. It's a nice, decent size, and you get five fluid ounces. Again, I'm going to rub cleanser into my skin for whatever reason. Don't judge me, okay? Ooh, shoot, I didn't mean to rub that much. I was trying to put a little dot. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells like super clean and just, I don't know, like I'm on a beach somewhere. That's what that smell like. Yeah, that smells very calming, very relaxing. It does feel very gentle on the skin. I can't get over that smell. That smell literally puts me on the beach. I would imagine washing my face with this like on the beach or in my like bathroom that faces the beach with the windows open so you can get the ocean breeze in. And then you have this smell and you just feel so luxurious. Like, you know, the Garnier Fructis commercials. This transports me. I think this is a phenomenal product and I cannot wait to put this on my face and actually wash something off because this feels really good. And it has like a kind of cooling sensation to it. That product, I might have to spend some coin to keep her. Once I run up that, I might have to buy some more because this is amazing. This is probably the best cleanser I've ever, without seeing how it performs like really with like over time, just the overall feel and the overall experience of using it. This is probably my favorite cleanser I've used. I'm gonna go rinse this off off and then I'll be right back. Wait, in the meantime, between time, let me rub this. Did she move? She didn't move and I'm back. The next choice that I know I made for myself was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I used to have a brow dip pomade like a long time ago. Um, it also comes with a brush. I actually really liked it. I've since gone to using like pencils, but I feel like the dip brow is gonna make a comeback. I feel like it is going to make a comeback because I'm seeing a lot more people do dramatic eye looks. I know it went to like the skincare heavy, clean girl aesthetic, the Alicia Keys kind of method of less is more. But I feel like we're gonna head back to that very advanced, extravagant makeup again. And I really like dip pomades for the eyebrows because it gives you a more intense look. I've never owned the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow. I know it was very popular back in the 2010s. So I'm very excited to try it. I tried like the cheaper version that you get at the drugstore, which was still effective. We don't price shame over here. It was effective. Now I just get to try the actual Anastasia Beverly Hills version. And it comes with a nice little brush, brush and spoolie. And it's just very nice. Okay, very cute, very nice. Just. Nice little brush, a little spoolie at the end, and then you can bend it. And, and see, when I had that that brow thing from, what was it, uh, Jasmine, I should have bent the thing so I could actually get into the pot. I didn't realize you could do that. I mean, I don't know why, obviously these things bend. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together to make my life easier, you know. Work smarter, not harder. In that instance, I just worked dumb. This is really nice, very, very stiff, so you can get really good lines on your brows. Look. At that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Anastasia on the glass part. I think that is so cute. I love little details like that. <laughs> I don't know which one of these is my last choices. I'm gonna have to go back and look on my profile and see which one I chose. But the next thing that I'm pulling out of here is by Olive. Coors Pure Creek Olive, and this is a shower gel. This is a shower gel. This is actually kind of nice because me and Justin, our shower gel, we just opened our last one. We're not doomsday people, so we don't stock up on like years worth supplies of things. So we're down to our last thing of body wash. So we can try this one out after that one runs out. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really nice. The green is so fun. Hopefully this doesn't smell like that booty mask. That's all. Just Please don't smell like the booty mask. The last thing I had with olive oil in it worked amazingly, but it stunk. It doesn't seem to have a crazy, crazy scent to it. Okay, just a little dot 
Okay, we just want the little dab. I've, I've graduated to rubbing body wash on my skin. Okay, this actually doesn't smell bad. And it has more of a neutral scent. So it's not gonna be like making Justin smell like a woman or me smell like man, okay? I mean, I'll have to use it a couple of times to really know if I like it. I'm actually pretty happy to get this. Like I said, we're about to run out of body wash. So this way I don't gotta go to the store, okay? I do not have to run to my local Target to get the body wash that we use. I can just try this one out. And then if we like it, depending on that price, we might get some more or we might go back to our tried and true. Of, I'm gonna go rinse this off. I didn't realize it was gonna be another soap. If I did, I would've just waited. Okay, I would've just rubbed all my cleansers in and then rinsed them off at one time. Wait, let me just check and see if any of these are other cleansers. Cause if they are, then bruh. Okay, I'll be right back. And then I'll tell you what they did. I'll tell you what they did when I get right back. They didn't play me as hard as they did last time. Okay, last time they played me so bad, they gave me two things that I will probably never use. When I see that I'm getting two mystery items, I expect them to be different from one another. I expect to be like, ooh, I got this, and then ooh, look at this other thing I got. You know what I'm saying? In this sense, they gave me two products that should have been grouped together, I think, as one, and then gave me something else. But these are things that I can try. I can try them and actually use them. So I'm not completely furious. I'm just a little annoyed because I was expecting to get something fun. I wasn't expecting to get a shampoo and conditioner, which is exactly what I got. I got a shampoo and a conditioner. I wouldn't want to get like two of essentially the same thing. And if they were going to give me this, give me this together as one, not two separate. Oh, here's your mystery, a shampoo. Oh, here's your other mystery, a conditioner. <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten like something for, you know, the home or maybe a piece of jewelry or maybe a bag, something like that. I'm going to hope and pray that when summertime comes around in the summer season that I can get better mystery items. I enjoy the mystery of it, right? Like I like not knowing, but then I also like to not know and then get things I like. <laughs> This is by The New Co. And I think I actually have something else by them. So I might have to look and see. This is The New Co. Hair Super Thick. Okay, it's not just regular thick, it's super, super thick. I think I made that same joke. I'm so corny. I just be recycling my same jokes. I'm just, I'm not that funny. And this is The Super Thick Conditioner and Super Thick Shampoo. And you get 8.45 fluid ounces of each. And this is what it looks like. Let's see what she smells like. I I'm not gonna rub this into my skin, I'm sorry. Ooh, it smells a little minty. Yeah, that smells good. I'm not gonna lie, that smells really good. It kind of reminds me of the smell that you get from like head and shoulders. So I'm guessing that that's gonna have like a tingling effect, which would be nice. I actually really like shampoos that do that. So maybe this isn't as bad as I thought it was. This has that same that same scent where it smells like it's gonna tingle. And I love a good tingle, tingle shampoo because it just makes my scalp feel cleaner. I don't know why. This is actually not bad. I don't, I, I don't hate her. Everything that I got today, I will use. So that is a win. That was everything in my spring, is it spring fling? I don't know why I just wanna say spring fling, like fling has to go after spring. I don't, I don't know why. But that was everything in my spring Fab Fit Fun Box. I logged on as soon as I could so that I can get the best choices because I know once the choices are just took up, all the good stuff is gone, you SOL. Cause them ladies be on it, especially them annual ladies, they be on it. And I bet you a lot of them be having multiple subscriptions just so they could get a bunch of stuff. I might be that girl one day where I got like two different subscriptions and then I get different stuff. I'm not there yet. I will graduate to her eventually. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.